This is a story about Trevor the traction engine. He was going to be broken up for scrap. But then he met Edward, who was determined to find his new friend a home. Trevor. The Fat Controller works his engines hard, but they are very proud when he calls them really useful. I am going to the scrapyard today, Edward called to Thomas. What, already? You're not that old, replied Thomas cheekily. Thomas was only teasing. The scrapyard is full of rusty old cars and machinery. They are broken into pieces, loaded into trucks, and Edward pulls them to the steelworks where they are mounted down and used again. There was a surprise waiting for Edward in the yard. It was a traction engine. Hello, said Edward. You're not broken and rusty. What are you doing here? I'm Trevor, said the traction engine sadly. They're going to break me up next week. What a shame, said Edward. My driver says I only need some paint, polish and oil to be as good as new, continued Trevor. But my master thinks I'm old-fashioned. Edward snorted. Some people think I'm old-fashioned, but I don't care. The fat controller says I'm a useful engine. My driver says I'm useful too, said Trevor. Even if a job is hard, I don't give up, and I've never broken down in my life. What work did you do? asked Edward. My master would send us from farm to farm, Trevor replied. We threshed corn, hauled logs, and did lots of other work. The children loved to see us. Trevor shut his eyes, remembering. I miss the children, he sighed. Edward set off for the station. Broken up, what a shame! Broken up, what a shame! He clanked. I must help Trevor, I must! Edward thought of all his friends who liked engines, but he knew none of them would have room for a traction engine at home. It's a shame, it's a shame! He hissed. As Edward pulled into the station, there standing on the platform was the vicar. Hello Edward, you look upset, he said. What's the matter Charlie, he asked Edward's driver. There's a traction engine in the scrapyard vicar, the driver replied. He'll be broken up next week. Jem Cole says he's never driven a better engine. Do save him sir, said Edward. He's a very useful engine. He can carry wood and give children rides. We'll see, replied the vicar. Jem Cole came to the scrapyard on Saturday. The Reverend is coming to see you, Trevor, he said. Maybe he'll buy you. Do you think he will? asked Trevor hopefully. He will when I've lit your fire and cleaned you up, Jem told him. The vicar and his two boys arrived that evening. Show us what you can do, Trevor, said the vicar. Trevor chuffered around the yard. He hadn't felt so happy for months. Later, the vicar came out of the office smiling. Trevor is coming home with me, Jem, he said. Do you hear that, Trevor? cried Jem. The reverend has saved you, and you'll live at the vicarage now. Peep, peep, whistled Trevor happily. Now Trevor's home is in the vicarage orchard, and he sees Edward every day. His paint is spotless and his brass shines like gold. Trevor likes his work, but his happiest day is the church fate. With a wooden seat bolted to his bunker, he chuffers around the orchard, giving rides to children. Long afterwards you will see him shut his eyes, remembering. I like being with children again. He whispers happily.
If you liked what you heard, please consider leaving a like rating down below as well as commenting and subscribing for more magical stories from the island of Sodor.